Hey everybody, this is Rich Formadoni from Korg USA. I'm here with my very good friends at Kraft Music, and today we're exploring the Chrome Music Workstation. Chrome sets a new standard for value in a mid-priced keyboard workstation. It has sounds and features that are unheard of in its price range. For example, the Acoustic Grand Piano is a 2.8 gigabyte library by itself. That's larger than the entire sound set of any other keyboard on earth, except Kronos. Let's take a listen. Chrome comes in three different flavors. This is the 61 key. There's also a 73 key, and both of those feature our natural touch semi-weighted keys. There's also a graded hammer action 88 key version, which is the lightest 88 key workstation currently on the market. So if you're a live performing musician, you're really gonna appreciate how lightweight and portable Chrome truly is. Chrome also features large sample collections for electric pianos, paired with vintage effects direct from the SV-1. You also just heard the drum track feature. Every program and combi within Chrome has a drum track assigned to it. It's one of hundreds of pre-made grooves that are ready to jam along with. You'll also find large sample collections for acoustic drums with separately mixable mic ambience. You can also use the built-in dual polyphonic arpeggiators to create a beat for you. I'm gonna let the built-in arpeggiator control the drums, and I'm gonna to go to the mixer tab on the display and use the first two faders to adjust the level of the kit mics versus the room mics. So you just heard only the room. And that was only the kit. Now let's mix them together. If you're a live performer, first off, you'll appreciate how lightweight Chrome is. Second, you'll appreciate all the controls that we give you. On the left-hand side, you'll notice four real-time control knobs. These will be preset to do different things for every sound when you've got user selected. When you select tone, you can adjust very standard parameters, filter cutoff and resonance, envelope intensity, and release. On the bottom, you have control over various arpeggio patterns, like gate, velocity, swing, and the number of steps. On the left side, you'll find our famous XY joystick for pitch bend and modulation. Also, there are two assignable switches that again will do useful things for every sound you select. For example, on a 61 key chrome, you may want to play piano notes that are outside of the normal range. Well, these function as octave up and down buttons.
In addition to the individual programs, Chrome also lets you play combis with up to 16 different parts at once, layered, split, and velocity switched across the keys. As you can see on the display here, I have eight different faders, so I can mix the levels of these, uh, of these different programs that are part of this combi. There's another tab with the other eight levels. Now, when I play notes, you can see blue velocity meters appearing on the screen. Just like you saw with the drums, you can touch one of the on-screen faders and move it wherever you need it to be. The pan knobs above can also be modified by touching and moving left to right. The visual crown jewel of Chrome is this gorgeous, huge color touch view display. In addition to looking good, we've also added some really cool new interface enhancements that make moving around and navigating through Chrome a breeze. For example, we can look at these on-screen parameters and touch them and use the value dial or the increment decrement buttons to move them around like we've done on previous keyboards. Or with Chrome, you can also touch and release a parameter and you have access to a swipeable inertia wheel or touch the word slider and you get a value slider that responds very quickly to your finger's touch. Also, if you need to see something that's beneath the window that's on the screen, all you need to do is touch the upper left-hand corner and the window moves where you need it to go. Now, let's try double tapping one of these parameters. Now you can see on the screen you have a combination of direct number pad entry and a calculator. So for example, if you have to calculate uh, different taps of a multi-tap delay, you can do that right here without having to leave the interface. Also, you might notice that on the top of the display, there's a tiny little stopwatch. If you touch that stopwatch, you can see how long the keyboard has been turned on. If you stop and restart the timer, you can use it to record the length of your set or a new song you're working on, uh, see when you need to take your next break, or anything you might need a timer for during a performance. Now, I'm going to do a very quick recording, and all I have to do from anywhere in program or combi mode is press the record button and touch OK on the display. Now I'm taken to sequencer mode, and all I have to do is press the start stop button, I get a two measure count in, and then I'm recording. Now that I've recorded, let's see how we can use the touch view display to quickly edit and manipulate our work. I'm gonna press the page button and then go to track edit. From here, we can see blocks of data, but if we touch the track view tab, we can see the actual MIDI notes. Now, let's take it a step further and touch the magnifying glass. Now you can see we have a full piano roll style editor built right into the keyboard. So I'm gonna to touch the uh, buttons here to zoom in and get a better handle on the, uh, on the individual notes that I might want to modify. You can see the tools that we have to edit with on the right side of the display. So I can grab a note, move it around, grab the length tool, and lengthen or shorten a note. I can even take the pencil, draw in new notes, or draw a line in the controller display to adjust velocity or any other MIDI control change. If you're working with a computer-based setup, you'll be happy to know that Chrome works as a plug-in within any VST or Audio Units compatible DAW software. So all you need to do is load the free download uh, editor software as a plug-in or standalone. If you're using it in a DAW, once you save your work in that project, it'll save the state of Chrome along with it. So next time you open that project, Chrome sets itself up the exact way you left it.
So if you're a performing musician who needs a keyboard with serious production power and no compromise sounds without breaking the bank, Chrome is definitely worth a look. Once again, I'm Rich Formadoni here at Craft Music. Thanks very much for watching.